Hey, this is Phil of Insects here with yet another video, and I'm going to be showing you how to house a pet grub, as you can see, like this one here. This one, I have no idea what species is. Um, I've raised, I've um, raised so far, like, I don't know how many, um, but I've um, raised a rhino beetle. I wasn't exactly what it, um, sure what it, what species it was at first. I was guessing it was a rhino beetle, but um, when it actually... Um, um, became an adult, I found out that it was a rhinoceros beetle, and I was really excited. But, um, yeah, so I have no idea what species this is. Um, it's, yeah, pretty small, though. But then you're going to need a, this is just a mealworm container, and some dirt in it. Um, really any trace of dirt you want to put in it. But, um, then you're going to want it kind of damp. I don't have this dampened down really much yet. I'll dampen that down, though. But here I have some grass roots um, for the food. I'm experimenting with these grass roots. I really have no idea what's going to happen. Because um, I don't know if it eats grass roots. It might. Um, you guys can write in the comments what you think it, the, um, what species you think this could possibly be. Or what, um, um, what I should try feeding it. Um, also, if I see any decomposing wood, anything like that, I'll try to feed it. Cause, or feed it to them. But yeah, though, grubs will really eat any decomposing wood decomposing roots or starting to decompose roots so yeah i'm trying it out but i don't know how it's gonna work but yeah that's pretty much it i haven't put it in dirt at all yet so it's probably gonna enjoy digging <laughs> um yeah so that's pretty much it for housing yourself a pet grub um please like and subscribe and um see you in the next video